In 2009, one of my favorite actors of all time, Jeff Bridges, officially won his first Oscar for Best Actor for a film called Crazy Heart. And it was directed by a newcomer never heard before, Scott Cooper. And after this film, I was really intrigued to see where this guy was going to go next. And now he has a brand new movie. It's called Out of the Furnace, and it stars tons of people. we got Christian Bale, Casey Affleck, Sam Shepard, Forrest Whitaker, Woody Harrelson, Zoe Saldana, and to my surprise, I didn't expect to see this guy in the movie tonight, we got William Dafoe. Didn't, I, I, don't, I don't remember if he was in the trailer or not, I can't remember or not, but just, this is an exceptional cast. Whether the movie is good or not, what an amazing cast this film was. Now, this movie tells the story of two brothers. We got Christian Bale and Casey Affleck. Now, Casey Affleck, he's, you know, he's trying to do the best he can with what he's got. He joins the military, serves some serves some uh, tours in, in Afghanistan, and he comes back and he's really just starving for work, but he doesn't really want to get a normal job where his brother works. His brother is, you know, an honest man as well. He's trying to be the best boyfriend he can to Zoe Saldana's character and have a job and all this stuff. But they've got some major conflicts that come into their lives. Some things happen to, Kate, uh, to Christian Bale's character and he has to go to jail for a while. And then Casey Affleck really doesn't want to find a job, so he decides to join an underground fight club with the help of William Dafoe. And he meets up with Woody Harrelson, who plays one of the scariest characters he's played since Natural Born Killers. They, you know, things happen to Casey Affleck and, you know, Christian Bell tries to come to the rescue to help him out. And that's where the movie really starts to get going and, and show what this movie is all about. And I don't want to give away anything else about this film. So I was really excited to see this movie. I had a lot of anticipation for this movie. I really liked what Scott Cooper came up with last time. This is actually, to my surprise, he actually co-wrote this script and of course directed the film. But this is a original screenplay. I don't think it's based on any book or true story. Uh, at least I wasn't aware of it when I saw the movie. It didn't say that in the credits. It just said written. That was all it said was written. And yeah, it's it's a really gorgeous looking movie. It's, it's beautiful to look at and it's extremely acted very, very well. Everybody does. Everybody acts very well in this film. Everybody gets something to shine, whether they're a smaller character like Zoe Saldana or they're the, they're the major stars like Casey and Christian. So I was very excited to see this movie. It was definitely on my uh, hit list and uh, I'm just really surprised that it's not really in a competition with anything else. Of course, we've still got the Catching Fire movie and Frozen that are probably going to win the weekend. But this is a film that I'm really hesitant to recommend only because it's a very, very slow moving film. This isn't your revenge piece like Taken. I mean, there's no Liam Neeson to come to the rescue and give us a bunch of action set pieces and say a lot of clever dialogue. No, this is more of a smaller, intimate film that slowly works at a snail's pace. It tries to build up the surroundings. You get to see the environment of the characters. You get to hear dialogue that is, you know, it's definitely a dialogue-driven, character-driven story. So we get to get to know these characters, start to care about them, and hopefully everything works out for them in the end. Now this is a very, this movie definitely will test the patience of many, many people. But I think if you really give it your all, you're really going to have a very enjoyable time and an entertaining one, even though it doesn't really leave you excited at the very end. I remember walking out of the theater watching this movie, feeling kind of numb and quiet and thinking of the thoughts that I had in my head and how I was going to really kind of explain what this movie felt like and, and, and what it's all about. But I have to say, it's really all about the performances and the story and the setting and where it's located and how it just looks. The cinematography is gorgeous. The acting, I said, is great, especially Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is terrifying in this movie and gives probably my favorite performance in the, in the entire film. But everybody in the, else in the film works really great. I think it's directed beautifully by Scott Cooper. This movie just shows that Scott Cooper is not a fluke. He's definitely going places. He's made two amazing films. This is one of the great films of the year. And it's a film that I feel like is because it's coming around a time where there's major blockbusters and there's also... We've got some really amazing Oscar-nominated films that are coming out very, very soon in the next couple weeks that this film is going to get forgotten, and that's very sad. And I feel like I hope that people will give this movie a chance, at least check it out once, because I think it's definitely worth your time. It is one of the most unique and awesomely character-driven stories to come out this year, and it's a movie that I'm, I hope I won't forget anytime soon because I think it's very, very strong with its narrative and very, very interesting and moving at the same time. I definitely, definitely want to recommend this to everybody, but just be cautious that it is a slow-moving film and you have to be very patient with it. But hopefully you'll find some happiness in your movie-going experience and enjoy this very somber yet memorable character-driven film. 
and I'm going to give the film Out of the Furnace 4 out of 4 stars. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you enjoy this review, please click right here and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll have more reviews coming up very, very soon. Looking forward to next weekend. We've got so many awesome movies. The Hobbit is coming out next weekend. Man, I'm so excited to see that. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great holiday season, and I'll talk to you later. Peace be with you.